This video is in response to a comment I received from a viewer in regards to a video I recently posted. It was a video about the X lookup function with a wildcard match. And in that uh, video, we used the same list of usernames. We performed a wildcard search or a partial search based on a first or last name in this lookup cell here to pull back the full username from this set of data. And the user brought up a great point. Um, you know, he said, what if there's more than one Ron in this list? You know, my illustration did assume you have unique values. And what the XLOOKUP does is by default, unless you specify otherwise, it's going to only find the first match it finds if there's more than one value on your search lookup item. So I did add this second Ron to the list. There's already one here, Ron Taylor and Ron Christie. And you can see this only pulls back our first match it finds, which is Ron Taylor. Now, you can specify in the search mode to search from last to first, and that will pull back this last item here, the last Ron. But, I think what our, the viewer was getting at is, you know, what if you have several duplicate values? This is not effective. And I agree, it's not. This, this illustration assumed you have unique lookup values. But I do offer a solution to that problem. We can use the filter function with a partial match because the filter function pulls back all the matches it finds based on your lookup value. So we'll begin with the filter. Our array is going to be this entire set of data. This next argument is our criteria. Um, we're going to insert a couple of, art, of other functions in this argument. I'll explain how they work when, we're, when we've input the entire formula, so just bear with me. So we're going to start out with a isNumber function, followed by a search function, because we want to find anything that contains the word Ron. So we're going to enclose that in asterisk for a wildcard search and concatenate it with the and symbol. And we're going to search within this array of usernames. So you can see this pulls back both Rons, Ron Taylor and Ron Christie. So how this works, we have our search function, which if we hover over this and hit F9, to see what it's actually doing, you can see the search function looks for the partial match of anything containing the word Ron. And anytime there is a match, it returns a value of 1. You can see the 1 there and the 1 there, the numerical equivalent of true. Anytime there's not a match, it produces an error. It's just, you can see those value error messages. So if I escape out of that and then go back into it and hover over everything including the isNumber function, what the isNumber function does is anytime there is a number, it produces a value of true. So for those ones that we previously saw, it produced a value of true. Everything else, those errors were falses. 
So then the filter function looks at this entire data set that we have in this first argument here and filters on anything that has a value of true, which is Ron Taylor and Ron Christie because our lookup value was a partial match for anything containing the word Ron. So I'll hit escape and that is how that filter function works to perform a wildcard search when you have duplicate values in your lookup array. So I really appreciate the comment left. It was completely legit and understandable. Um, you know, I strive to try and do better. We all do. So really appreciate that comment and um, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.